Hey everybody, this is Doug Kenny from Relentless and Unstoppable, and today we have a woman of achievement, Miss Woman of Achievement International. Hey, how you doing? Well, I'm so excited to continually, you know, sharing my uh, journey of the life with you and your program and your show. So may I introduce myself? Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Well, um, it's an honor to be part of the uh, Woman of Achievement as International Ambassador Queen, first Mexican. So I'm just doing great. I feel great. That's great to hear. So where are you at at the moment? What I have at the moment, you mean about my crown, my title? Yes. Where are you at at the moment? Like, where are you located? Oh, where am I located? I am in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. Surprise, Arizona. Awesome. That's great to hear, fellow Arizonan. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, what's your up what was your upbringing like, and where are you from? When I'm from Mexico, the, um, well, it's... It's Mexico, but the, the town or the state is Chihuahua. Chihuahua is a bigger state of the Mexico City. It's just driving around 12 hours and flying is an hour. It's not too far away of here, Arizona. And you, the, where are you? Where are you like your, your location? Where are your location? I'm in the Apache Junction Mesa area. Oh, okay, I see. Well, I just pretended to visit uh, where your, your location, you know, I said probably I can go and, you know, share a good, beautiful memories, but I think that I can need to drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, what was your upbringing like? Well, um, actually, when we are little kids, we dream for a lot of things, you know, many things, So, but the life is showing showing you a lot journal the light you know but uh the life make you strong depending the situation that you you are presenting at the moment you know so uh, everything coming to your life um depends how is your journey of the light you know i don't know if you understand what i mean because sometimes we can dream for a good things but the light came for you for different opportunities and, and different pains. So you need to follow the pains God's ways has for you, right? Yeah, for sure. I know what you mean. So uh, what do you do these days work-wise? Uh, what I do for actually? Yeah. I mean, well, I, I feel the honor to be part of the uh, BA for the veteran service, I work in, in the nursing area, and my specialty is um, like as behavior, behavior uh, for treating for any PTSD. And well, I doing you know the, um, different kind of activities inside of the building, but this is my my real profession. You know, this is why I do mention about always mental health how important it is to be and fight for your our emotion. Because now in the present, uh, people doesn't respect, you know, their, themselves. Many people, you know, so they are trying to give everything, but they are not taking care about their our emotions. So first we need to take care about our emotions and then you can give everything that is in your hands, right? Do, do you understand me? Yes. Yeah, I understand you completely. So, yeah, what when what was your reaction to joining Woman of Achievement? Well, let me tell you, and I have to do mention about it. Um, this beautiful journey of the life started almost three years ago. Um, I think that was uh, 2020 when I was like, you know, you can see in my profile. Uh, I always give in support for my community. This is the way that I feel great helping and, you know, giving what is in my hands. So a good day, I meet and greet a beautiful lady. She's, uh, I think that she's now is a legacy queen. She's Robin, Robin. And 
she invited me, you know, to be part. But you know what? At the moment, I refused because I say, well, I never imagined to be part of, you know, at this time and, you know, what a beautiful queen and, you know, the little, I feel a little fair, you know, to, to be part of that because it's going to be many countries and then travel. So I say, I had no idea how running this. Because always I'm be um, giving support and doing some couple like uh, walking in the fashion shows, but I never be part of the um, certain of beautiful woman, you know, and special smart woman fighting for their our emotional size. So that is woman of achievement. Woman of achievement is um, a good success after any adversity and that is a make you make you a good woman of achievement you know is so i tell i just tell my friend robin say robin you know what i need to thinking about it because this journey of life i never imagined and be part of you know and she said okay honey just thinking about it so um after a month i think that i took the decision i said well i think that Everything came to my life is because God is sent it to me because I always following my emotion, my souls and everything what I do, you know, and I believe that everything came to your life when you are not looking for is because God has a big present for your life. And then so I call her and I say, OK, Robin, I agree. I'm ready. So I just prepare a couple questions, you know, to make, you know, uh, to be ready and and have a little bit about the notion about how to start, you know, to be ready. So I think that I took uh, five months to to prepare my five platforms. So they start my journey. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, what was it like doing the Woman of Achievement pageant in California? How, um, can you repeat me the question? How what? What was it like being part of the pageant in California, the international one? Well, um, the most the most beautiful part is that is the question, right? The most beautiful part is when I I realize how many women express in their souls. They are beautiful. They are not feeling like um, in the competition. They are very deep in their emotional side. And that's what I, I feel it, um, comfortable, confidence to share my experience of the life. Why I was decided to be part of the, the certain. So as soon as possible, I realized every woman was walking but under the platform, under the platform, sorry. And I was paying attention about how they be suffering any adversity. And I say, come on, you can do it. You had your our adversity. Just open your, your heart, share with them, and share how God is giving to you many blessings. You know, you can be a hope for many women. So I'm just open my mouth and you know the Holy Spirit is start to speak by in my soul. So this is me. <laughs> That's great to hear. You know, did you feel very accomplished when you were on that stage with your crown, your new crown? For sure. You know, I thought that I bend my necks. I still can cry. I am so sensitive with my emotional. And I say, thank you, God. You can see now I'm crying. Oh, my God. You know, because I am a grateful heart. I never imagined be part of this. And... When I decided in the past 2014 to close my cycle of life, I never imagined it to have in, in, in a short time to have many blessings waiting for me. And especially have my second crown because this is my second crown that I'm winning the first, I won, I'm sorry, I won the first time as an international. But then I, uh, they put me in another platform the last um in the, uh, I felt the last year in 2022 in August and I won again as ambassador so now I welcome with my second crown and I feel honorable so everything what I doing I doing with with love 
uh, I'm taking advantage to, to spread the love of God over everyone in the world because this is what I what he wants. He wants God need us strong in, in without no fears. He need us strong, walking and believing that everything is possible if we feel com with confidence in our heart. Nothing is gonna be possible if we will not believe in our emotional side. That's it. <laughs> Definitely. So what did you do after the pageant to continue being the international woman of achievement? Uh, well, I, you know, after my crowns, I'm just learning to live day by day. I don't know what God brings to my life. You know, I cannot make any plans. I'm learning to say today is today. And because tomorrow I know what God gave has for me, you know, I don't know what he got for me. So, but definitely I would like to to continually uh, supporting another woman, you know, that they are suffering for any adversity and continually, you know, uh, giving the support for all those that are looking for, for my help. You know, that is the most important thing that we, we don't need to be selfish. We have to be careful with another person because always I believe that Everybody came to our life with a, um, you know, like with the ability to share their pain is because God is given to, to, to us the opportunity to give them hope. So that is one of my goals, you know, continually walking and spreading hope, love. And that's what, what else can I do? You know, I'm just sharing this and well, um, you know, always try to say yes, what, what is in my hands in this special. For sure. Do you have plans to do more Women of Achievement stuff in the future? Well, if they continually inviting me, for sure I will do it. You know, uh, this time I wasn't able to, to travel because my war and, and I have uh, activities to continually doing here in Arizona. But definitely in, in August, I think it is in July and uh, when July and August, um, what I, we, we want to participate. Oh, in this case, we want, I will be crowning the next ambassador queen, you know, so international ambassador queen. So I don't know who is the next, but I, I'm pretty sure that God has the perfect one to keep this crown. For sure. That's good on you. So that's all we have for now, but we thank you for coming on and we'll bring you on again soon. Oh, no, no. Thank you, Doug. And God bless you. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to be part of your amazing show program. I don't know how you call, but I'm here with you for a long time ago. We'll be trying to connect to each other, but now is the time. And believe me, thank you so much. And God bless your life. Thank you for everything that you are doing too, okay? You are a part important of the world, believe me. You are inspiration for many persons, okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And you are too. So yeah, we'll meet up in the near future sometime while I'm in Arizona. Oh yeah, for sure. You just let me know and I drive. <laughs> yep. Okay. All righty. So everybody, that's all we have for now on r and &U. We thank, uh, we thank her for coming on, and we'll see you next week for the next episode.